so hello all till now we have seen how to uh, draw the board outline and then how to set the pcb parameters uh, especially the stack up and uh, spacing between the routing right so once all those are done the next step would be to import the netlist from schematic to the pcb so netlist is something which actually enables us to transform our schematic into the pcb okay if you are using within a keycad like uh, uh, the schematic and the pcb layout are within the keycad so you you have very less activity to know about uh, the netlist but still you need to get to know sometimes so um the first thing that we have to do is import the netlist so to do that click on tools update pcb from schematic and you can see here there is fate so generally if you are a regular pcb designer or a veteran pcb designer you tend to use uh, shortcuts uh, to get the activity done rather than uh, um, um, browsing around those uh, tabs uh, so it is for the advanced users or you can use once you are well very well versed with the tool so now when when we click on update pcb from schematic you can see here all the footprints got added okay all the components with uh, and their footprints got added now the important point is we should ensure that errors and warnings are zero many design engineers do proceed ahead when the war errors are zero and there are some warnings but warnings cannot be ignored every time we have to ensure that all the warnings need to be checked at least if not addressed and ensure that there are no errors in your connectivity now click on update pcb and then click close and you can see here then we see that all the bunch of components appear here so one of the strategy that people do is rather than placing this within the boundary of the pcb everything will be placed outside okay and people start looking into um, the cross checking into the schematic like when you click here automatically this component gets highlighted in the schematic page so you can open the schematic page and this is where the dual monitors do help the pcb layout engineers so um, people tend to have extended monitors to get their work done easily now they can highlight here or they can click on the schematic symbol and automatically its footprint gets highlighted here now based on that you know where you have to place this particular component within this uh, 25 by 50 mm outline okay so we are ready to go and all the components are on the board so the next step would be uh, placing these components and uh, moving ahead with the routing